Hello gamers, welcome back to me, Doodart, playing Minecraft. Uh, I'm back in my sandy village doing my little let's play and I'm basically trying to learn all of the new stuff since about Minecraft 1.2.5. All the stuff that I've been missing because I've been playing Tech It. Now, as you last saw me on my last episode, I was mining, I was trying to find some diamonds and as you can see by this beautiful diamond pickaxe. I found some. Uh, I found some other bits and bobs as well, and I've done a lot of modifications on my village. But the first thing, let me just run down to my mine and show you where I found my diamonds. Because, as you might remember from when I left off my last episode, I was about to do something very boring. Very boring. Which I'm sure we've all had to do in Minecraft, which is mine a staircase all the way to bedrock. I know, it is pretty dull, isn't it? So here I was at the last episode. I was following a bat to lead me to some diamonds. He didn't do it, because, you know, he's a bastard. But I did mine this bloody great big staircase all the way down to the bottom. Uh, marked out where roughly level 30 is. I think it might be level 25, so that I can strip mine later if I want to. Uh, put up all these torches to make me stop, because there's a lot of lava. I know, it's scary. Well, I like the sound of it bubbling. I'm not used to that. Um, and so down here, I found my diamonds over that way, I believe. And I found a load of obsidian over here. So I've already mined a load of that. And as you can see, there's plenty more ores and resources lying around that I can grab when I need them. So I know where there is some stuff. And so, for today, I thought I would try and get myself an enchantment table. I know I need two more diamonds for that, but I do need a book. So I figured I'll make myself a book. That'll probably take me a little while. Because I haven't seen a cow in God knows how long. Ages. Um... But obviously, before I start doing that, I want to show you around my village, because I've done a lot of work, last night in fact, without recording it, because it would have taken forever. As you may or may not notice, the wall is a little higher than it was before, a little bit in places at least. I've dug this weird trench thing out just in front of the door, because the test certificates kept trying to leave, open the doors and leave. Uh, I've added an extra farm, so I now have four farms instead of just three. And I've built a load of extra houses in my villages. Hey guys, what's up? I don't really want to talk to me. It might have been because I was taking the piss out of them for having big noses for too long. I think they got fed up. Let's go and get an aerial view of my village. Uh, replace that nasty dirt with nice pale wood. It took me forever to find a fucking birch tree. I had to go like miles that way and swim through an ocean and stuff. It was horrible. I found one and brought back a single sapling. And I had to work to build all of this extra housing, replanting the tree, etc., etc. So you can see the original uh, spawned in houses are in the sandstone, kind of blending in with the sandy background of my desert village. So I decided to build the extra houses with the birch to keep it all nice and pale and nice looking. Got the outside wall in the dark spruce wood, obviously. So yeah, I've done a lot of uh, landscaping, cutting away all the sand and stuff like that to make it work, look a bit nicer. There's my bed up there. The only bed in the village. Uh, now, in terms of test certificates, I don't know if anyone can help me, maybe post in the comments, but this guy obviously takes three emeralds for a flint and steel. And this guy, three emeralds for some leather boots. Yeah, that sounds like a good deal. Same with the flint and steel. Now, there was one right at the beginning that I swear I clicked on that said it took something like 18 wheat for one emerald. Ten emerald for a compass, you see? Now, since then, I've not been able to find that guy anywhere. I don't know if he's 
sort of taken up lodgings in some weird place, or if he's accidentally got himself killed like some massive noob. Maybe he went to give a zombie a hug just because he's that sort of friendly guy. Uh, one emerald for 12 arrows. That seems like quite a good deal. If only I could get some bloody emeralds. And some redstone. Yeah, that looks a bit crap. Um, as yet, I haven't found any emerald ore. But I'm not even sure if it exists. I might have to wiki that in a bit. But anyway, how how do I start trading with these villagers? Because I can't get the emeralds. And like I said, this one guy who took, what was it, like 18 wheat for one emerald? He just ducked and disappeared. I can't find him anywhere. I searched all over the place. I had a look in the pyramid and down a holes and got everywhere. Bloody nightmare. I don't know if he had like a special coat on or anything like that. Ooh, what's going on there? I think they're conspiring against me. Oh, I think they spotted me. Quick, leave it. Leave it, Louis. Right. Okay, book. That's the next thing I need in order to make an enchantment table, apart from the diamonds, but you know. I'll probably find them off screen, because, let's be honest, it takes forever to make diamonds. I mean, not make, find. Sorry, used to tech it again. I'm used to being able to make diamonds out of nothingness. Or in fact sunlight, but you know. Uh, so for a book, I need some of this stuff, don't I? Did I just get... Oh, I did get two. Cool. Um, so I need some of that stuff. The What is this? Sugar cane? Does that make sense? You make books out of sugar cane? Uh, and I need I need leather, I believe. In the olden days, you used to just be able to lay three bits of sugarcane in a line, but now you've got to put it in a square with leather in one corner, I think. So I need to find myself a moo cow. There's some sheep and chickens and stuff over here. Okay, any moo cows? Uh, guys, you seen a cow anywhere? Oh god, he doesn't look like he's got any information. He's looking at tomorrow and yesterday. Let's put him out of his misery. Ooh, did I just hear a moo? Moo? Anyone? Need some leather? Cows, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to skin you. That might be a bit painful, actually. No, it's starting to get dark, and I'm slightly concerned that I'm wandering around at night. Because it's not like I'm the, the powerful mage that I am in Tekkit, with red matter armour, and I can swim in lava and AoE six mobs at once with one click of my guitar. No. No, I have a stupid diamond sword that even takes two hits to kill a sheep. And most of a set of iron armour, which, let's be honest doesn't actually save me from much at all. Well, it seems like our world is completely populated by sheep. And some squids. Do you want to be a potato? No, they're even too derpy to realise their dreams. Fair enough. Okay, well I can get the I can get the sugarcane planted down. Oh speaking of which, I will load over here. Right in the base. All that, thank you. I never take the whole lot. I always have to leave the bottom bit because what if you what if it was like the rare sugar cane of the west coast of Sand Village, I, and I caused it to die out? I could never live for myself. Speaking of such, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, environmentally friendly. Maybe ecosystem aware, those sorts of issues. Anyway, uh, I've basically been living vegetarian. I've been living off this farm, basically, some carrots, some wheat, aka the bread, and the potatoes. 
I think I, I've managed to get about three bits of pork. Looks like, like it seems all the tasty mobs seem to be over there somewhere, and they all seem to be sheep, which, you know, as much as people like eating wool, I'm not one of them. So, okay, I think I will pause recording right here uh, and try and find some leather and possibly some diamonds and continue in a bit. See you on the other... Hello, and welcome back. For you, it's obviously been a split second. For me, it's been bloody ages. Right, let's get back to where I was. So, I was trying to find some leather and possibly some diamonds in order to make an enchantment table. And guess what? It took me forever, but I eventually I made it. Now I have a few diamonds. I found a good little chunk. It's quite nice. And I found myself a couple of cows. I just grabbed a couple. And that'll do, hopefully. And in the meantime, my sugar canes are grown, so I can make some paper. You right now? Wow, that's a big forehead. Go away. So, I believe you make your paper like that. There we go. And your books like that. I figured I'd make extra books because I'm going to need them for bookcases to make high level enchantments. There we go. It's my enchantment table. Yeah, where should I put it? Just here, I think. Now, let's get my diamond sword in there. Well, I'm level 21, you can see, so something better than a 5 would be nice. 7, that'll do. Wow, sharpness 1, really? That's pathetic. Let's get bow in there. 5, let's give that a go. Power 1. Interesting. I believe with anvils or something, I can make them better later on. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can add extra enchantments on top of them. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do... Actually, should I enchant my armour? What level am I? Nine. Let's enchant my legs. Ooh, the six. Protection one. Thank you. Uh, so I've only got three levels left. I'll save up some. Cool. Uh, now, I wanted to... Bit of flint and a bit of iron. There we go. Is it that way round? Yes, it is. There we go. Da, 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 da. I guess you can't tell. I'm about to build a portal. Another portal, obviously. Not an ender portal. That comes on a little later in the game, as I believe. Um, I've been missing tech it so much, it's not even funny. Being able to fly and being indestructible and being able to kick people really hard. Oh, I know where to put the portal, yes, of course. I was wandering around trying to find stuff and found this in the middle of the desert. Now, I haven't touched this, I haven't built this at all, but <laughs> it looks a bit strange to me, so how do we build... I don't actually have any other blocks. Do they? Grab these out, and I can make uh, lazy portals with these, can't I? No, might as well save my resources. There we go. Excellent. So, that is my enchantment table built. And my nether portal built. I think the next step is to go to the nether and start doing enchantment. I'll have to look up how to build an enchantment stand, brewing stand, that's what I meant, sorry, no enchantment, brewing, brewing, potions, brewing, yes. So, 
I guess tune in next time, like and subscribe, all that lovely stuff that lets me know that you want me to carry on. And I'll get on that stuff. Thank you very much. Bye!